interviewing Paul Wayne, and he plays guitar and piano and a few other instruments all over New England. So, Mr. Wayne, tell us about yourself. Give us a quick history, just, you know, whatever you want to offer. Uh, I play guitar, and I sing, and uh, that's what I've done for a living all my life. In your life had another career? Um, not really. This has been the most consistent uh -huh. uh, thing that I've done. Let's see. I have a ton of questions. Good, good days, bad days. Do, what do you do when you're just feeling like you're not on, so to speak, on? Do you? How do you rise above? Is it the music start to? Well, you don't really. I mean, I think I think some of the best shows I've done have this one is when my personal life has been a wreck. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like, you know, the passion side, you know, yeah. for whatever reason. And, you know, so when you play, it comes out. Yeah. Have you had a big following? Have you, you know, I mean, I just see you're playing for the seniors. And, mm. um, you yeah, know, my career is skyrocketing. And, uh, <laughs> I've gone from the music theaters to the assisted living facilities. <laughs> and, Good uh, for you. I reinvented myself. Yeah, but nevertheless, I, I did hear you say one day that you enjoy this crowd. It's I do. It's a lot more gentle and... Yeah, it, it, it gives a lot more purpose than, you know, playing in bars and, you know, uh, the people I meet around here, they really, really want to hear the music and they listen quite intently and mm -hmm. they get involved and participate. Sure. And certainly don't have to deal with any drunks or hecklers or, yeah. you know, egos from the big stars. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to be tough-skinned and thick-skinned and all that, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> but you're not. I notice you're quick-witted, and that's great. And humor is a, you know, makes us laugh, and we, we get silly. And But um, have you ever felt, especially with this generation you play now, with, um, that you have to be more careful? No. Or no, I, no, I think if you treat everybody like people, you know, mm -hmm. and certainly we're all adults in yeah. this group. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you, you're cognizant of the uh, the demographic, you know, as far as not saying anything that would be, um, you know, hurtful, right. you know, by way of insult or. Yeah. But I mean, certainly you can be uh, suggestive. You know, right. you can imply certain things, you know, yeah. and not quite go there, you know. Um, who? Um, or what inspired you to go into this field? This world will be lit. Oh, God, that hurt. <laughs> I think it was Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. I was, yeah. I was a kid and I saw him on the Ed Sullivan show and I was uh, like, what? I want to be. Yeah, so like I started him. playing guitar. I actually, um, I remember going to the beach one day and I was sitting in the back seat of a car. Uh, most likely my parents' car. And I was looking out the window, the window was open, and they were driving slow in the traffic, and there was a girl sitting on the roof of a car playing guitar and singing. And I just went right out of my tree. I went, oh my God. Yeah. You know, I think it was an Everly Brothers tune, actually. I don't wow. remember that much about it, but that was an inspiration. So, yeah. yeah. Um, what song, what? I know you've written some songs. What. Um, of your songs, do you would you like to have published, or have you had them? No, I, I did some albums, but you know, mostly bar albums when I was younger. I you see. Know, you know, Paul live at this bar, or live at that bar, or oh, welcome cool. to happy hour, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. If you were to do if, it over, if I, how's that? I, if I had to do it over? Yeah. Hmm. You mean play the music over? Mm-hmm. I mean, certainly I would probably be musical. I think I'd study more. Do you, um, basically, these are some logistic questions, do you practice on a regular basis? Not as regular as I like, but, you know, I do practice. Uh-huh. Because a lot of times when I'm playing, I'm practicing. Right. Because I'm adding things and... Mm -hmm. Do you think you have an identifiable style? I mean, don't we all? It means mm. sort of, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what do you think? I don't know. Well, I, I suppose you know I it was me do. if you heard me singing. 
Yeah. I'd recognize me. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know how much different I am. Anyway, so do you feel you're talented? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, it's something I've learned. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I mean, early on when I was just a kid, I was always rewarded for being funny or performing. Sure. Know keep your head on straight and you well, yeah. everybody loves you. And every, you Of course, know. you have to realize that the people that come to see you probably come because they like you, and the ones that Thank think you're you. really terrible don't buy tickets. So yeah. you never really hear a very balanced view of right. what you do. All you hear is the people that say, oh, you're wonderful. Yeah. Do you feel sometimes there are two Paul Wings? <laughs> right? Your, your stage self? And then your personal self. Uh, well, naturally. I mean, I'll, I've answered that question. Yeah, Christopherson <laughs> had a song called, I worked with him when he was 50 years old at the Pro Casino and something. But he had a song called The Silver Tongue Devil. And uh, the idea of it was that he really didn't have any control over the uh, other personality that kind of that, that took over, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I took myself, I took myself down to the Tally Ho Tavern to buy me a bottle of beer. I set myself down near a handsome young stranger whose eyes were as dark as her hair. As I was searching from bottle to bottle for something unfoolish to say, that silver-tongued devil just slipped in beside me and silently stole her away. I said, hey, little girl, don't you know he's the devil? He's everything that I ain't. Hiding intentions of evil under the smile of a saint. All he's good for is getting in trouble and shifting his share of the blame. Some people say he's my double, which answers your question. Some people say uh -huh. we're the same. But that silver-tongued devil's got nothing to lose I'll only live till I die We'll take our own chances and pay our own dues That silver-tongued devil and I oh, So yeah, there are right. two. Yeah, um, you're on stage, so to speak, all the time. It's got to be hard. You must have, you must have your free time and hobbies otherwise. What what do you do for in your free time or exercise? I do karate. Oh. I've been in karate for a number of years. Uh -huh. So that kinda keeps me feeling pretty good. I see. Do you have um I play classical guitar too, I still study. You do? Yeah. Do you have and what and you play piano? Yeah. 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 I know you played a little but how about if you play some of that um, western country Strumming you did. Yeah, oh, I like guitar beautiful. boogie. That's kind of. Or nice. play that. That's good. Yeah, awesome. I like guitar boogie. Do whatever you want. Right. You want to hear it right side up or upside down or? Right I'll, side. I'll do it right side up okay. first. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the first things you learn when you're a kid on a guitar. It's like everybody wants to learn guitar boogie, you know, so you have to learn it real slow. It's kind of like walking with your first and third finger. And then you do it twice on each string. And then you do it with a roll at the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun.